it starts eating. What I wanted to talk about today is if you take advice from mediocre people, you cannot hope or expect to be anything else other than mediocre. So, friends and family are working for dead end jobs that they don't really like, and you take advice from them constantly, and you're constantly around these people, and you're constantly absorbing what these people have to say. You cannot expect or hope to be anything other than mediocre or in the same place that they are in. Who you take advice from, right, can only bring you to the place that they are. That's it. Not any higher, not any lower, or well, definitely lower, but um, it's the place that they are, right? It's not some linear bullshit. Not necessarily linear bullshit, but look at my channel, bro. The beach. <laughs> the beach. It's not like yin and yang, well, there, there's, but there's a catch, but there's a catch. Like what? You can be rich, but you're, you're vain, and you're greedy, and you're arrogant, and you're, you're not stupid, you're incredibly cunning, and you're evil. Or you're poor, but you're kind. There's not, nothing like that, right? That, that exists only in stories, in fairy tales, because there's a bunch of rich people out there who have a bunch of money and use that money to make changes in the world. Bill Gates, you know, Musk. Who else? Jeff Bezos, I guess. <laughs> but listen, this is so stupid. They're back, harkening back to that. I'm thinking harkening back as if I built on that point in the first place, but. I heard someone say before, bro, if Elon Musk spent all his net worth, he could solve world hunger. For what? A week? <laughs> and you're asking some random guy to spend his entire fucking net worth on feeding your ass? I, don't care. I keep me my eyebrow instinct. Why? Why would he do that for you? Fuck, his hard earned cash. Why on earth would he do that? So stupid, but it's very, very common. If you spend all his net worth, if you spend all of it, all of it, all of it, you can solve world hunger. Listen, in the most impoverished countries, right, have Ukraine now, Russia now, Africa, a lot of parts of Africa, South America, impoverished areas, right? If you give them all food and a consistent, consistent source of food, they'll be, their bellies will be full. And they'll be creating more people. You will only have more mouths to feed. And you will be burning only more money. That's it. That's the reality. The best way you can call something about that is to provide jobs, right? So you can pro make them pro provide some value back. So you can get what? Cheap or cheaper labor. And then you can make profit. And you can use that profit for more charitable goods. That's the only way you can go about it. But doing it in that way makes you seem as if you're a villain. You're, pro you're property of the impoverished, but fuck. Have the profit. No profit means no charitable acts. No profit, no money. No money, no power. It's so stupid. That entire paradigm is stupid, and only mediocre people say that shit. But there's always a catch. There's always a sacrifice. There's always something. Oh, of course, there's sacrifices. Time sacrifice. Maybe away from your kids if you're a busy businessman. You need to focus on the business. You may be away from the kids. And the wife, maybe you end, your wife ends up hating you, resenting you, and cheating on you with fucking <laughs> Joshua or some shit. Anthony Joshua, a handsome ass man. What was it? Ends up, he ends up sleeping with your wife or some shit like that. Well, then just leave her. Take the kids if you can. If not, then fucking kids. What else can you do? Start, you can only start a new family. Like, you have to be ruthless about this type of things. So even, even though you might have an emotional connection to the kids, the moment your wife slept with another man, I had resentment you were towards the other dude, she was already cheating on you. It was already done. That's it. That's it. Best thing you can do is walk away with your head high, your dignity intact. Fucking Matumbu. <laughs> Matumbu with his 10 inch ding off. <laughs> you have no chance, bro. Can never go back after that. What again? What else again? M moving on. Take advice from mediocre people, you can only hope to become mediocre. That's it. I recently had a message from a person I like and dislike, right? It's weird. So double edged. I don't hate the individual. Everything's fucking breaking. Ah. 
Ah, motherfucking damn. I'm not gonna get back to this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so scum. Oh, those no, trash away. I need a bad lying man. This just sucks. And she told me, or he told me, or they told me. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong program. Joke. It's very interesting. I disliked heavily. I right, I did. I disliked this a lot. Quite heavy. I'm the, I'm the real. When they said it, like I had a deep contemplation period, and they said, "We really need to find a job and get some experience. Your CV does not reflect that moment, and you are fast becoming a person who will be hard to place in employment." And I wrote next to it in. Was it slanted? I said I fucking hate it. So much hate I didn't even have to take a step back in order and recollect my thoughts. A step back in order to recollect my thoughts, right? Because I didn't even hate it hearing that. Obviously it's the truth, obviously it's the fact of the matter. But I wanna be fucking employed. Who the fuck wants me employed? No, I wanna be self-employed. Be working my own business, doing something else, solo entrepreneur, and entrepreneur, something like that. It's much more attractive and profitable and lucrative than profitable and profitive <laughs> and lucrative than workers in fucking job. They'll never pay me enough. They wouldn't pay me like something like fifteen pounds an hour, which is a pretty serious amount of money. <laughs> I have to be providing immense amounts of value for that and working for a specific company for years. Even then they can still fire my ass on a whim. So in school I I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And I recently wrote that. It was a rationalization I made. It's true, but it's also a rationalization I made in order to cope with the fact that I'm out of school and I've got this dropout. And as far as prospects, there are none. So, no raise up. No, but seriously, if you take advice from mediocre people, how are they going to make you superior to them? How are they going to make you a better life? They're not. They're not going to give you a better life. Because they're mediocre. The person that told me this, he was surrounded by people in an office that were fat, bulging fat, obese, probably hated their lives, ate unhealthy food, junk food, a lot of alcohol, just mediocre mundane people when you're around people like that it's very very difficult to thrive genuinely because I remember I was in Vietnam and I was in the constantly around people that loved exercise right they love exercise I love exercise too now but at that then I don't really care too much just before going in I did like it but I wasn't as consistent as I would have liked to be because I didn't love it I didn't love it. I didn't develop a passion for it. And I didn't have the results necessary for it to fuel my passion as well. My, and my motivation. But then I just constantly was around people that love exercise. So you constantly. And that slowly transitioned to me really liking exercise and sports thereafter. So that can be tra that can be transitioning all ways, right? You're around rich people. You're not like four rich people, you're gonna be the fifth rich person. If you're around fit people, you're gonna be the four fit people, you're gonna be the fifth fit, fit person. That's the way it goes. You need to curate your reality, curate your surroundings, your environment, especially for people that are you, you deem excellent or deem superior in some way. How do I say this? can be difficult in the beginning. You might be around your friends currently that you quite like and you would like to put them on the self-improvement space. It's impossible. It's impossible. I've only had like one friend that did it so far and I had to leave with the results first. Leading with results. The problem with leading results is, which I have to make a separate video delving deeper into this topic, but I'll, I'll do it in TLDR, right? Let's say you're both here. 
You're this improvement, you're going up. Let me do this. You're both here, right? You're both here. You're on the self improvement line, you're going up. Going up and up and up. And then tell your friend, Hey, yo, dude. He's like, What? <laughs> Stupid diagram, I know. And then, you're like, Bro, get on the self improvement thing, bro. You're gonna make a bunch of money, you're gonna get really fit, you're gonna get a bunch of girls, you're gonna get life so much life better. Da -da 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 -da. Get off the video games. Boom, get off the video games. I'm, I'm gonna call this person A and person B. Person B is hurt something they don't like, and they're down here because of it. Because they're indulging, indulging and addicted to something they don't like, they're down here, bottom of the barrel, motherfuckers. You understand me? And you're, per you're person A, you're hopping on the self-improvement grind, you're up here, looking down at person B, down there, playing the video games, eating unhealthy food, doing the bullshit activities, having no purpose, no meaning to his life, telling him to go hop on the self-improvement grind. It doesn't work. Why does it not work? Because you have to leave the results. Right. Even if you leave results, that is, sometimes, sometimes that don't even fucking work. They just get jealous or they don't care. Or they just keep deep-seated resentment for you. And they slowly transition away from you, which is good. And they slowly get new friends, which is good. You don't want to keep those people around. But fuck them off. Why would you want to be people... If you're up here, why, don't, why would you want to keep people down here? Alright? Anyways. As this continues on, you go up the ladder of some improvement. The growth becomes exponential. And as, as well as the growth becoming exponential, the gap between person A and person B, let's call this you, let's call this Joe Schmo, becomes increasingly high. Understand me? At this point, you're six pack, you've got the woman that you love, maybe two girlfriends, some shit, I don't know what the fuck you're into, I don't care. <laughs> it's a bit of a headache, but yeah, you've got like David Hay Thropple type shit. Anyways. You're here, you've got a David Hay throuple, you've got a six pack, you've got amazing shape, your life is amazing, you look, everything's looking up, you struggled so hard to get from here to here, it took years of your life, and finally you can reap the rewards of it, you're here, you're, you're in an amazing position in life, woohoo! The person A's down here, Joe Schmo's still down here. Fuck you doing Joe Schmo? Still playing video games, still playing un unhealthy food, still unfit, fat. Lazy, purposeless. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, what's, what's going on? What's Josh Moore doing? The problem is that when there's an exponential gap between these two people, it is often difficult for person A, you, to relate to person B. It's difficult to relate. Therefore, it is difficult to make those steps in order to reach this position. Of course, if person B has a, a right, the right hard work ethic, the right mentality, the right mindset, you can get here very easily and very quickly with the guidance of person A. But when does that happen? Very rarely. Because no one has a fucking well, hard work ethic. Even me sometimes, I procrastinated for a large majority of this day today. Apart from when I made a verbal, verbal contract, a verbal, how do I say the promise? To cut the internet and do as much work that I can without the internet until I need the internet. Then I'll use the internet for what I need, then I'll cut it again. So, anyway, there's something separate for productivity. But that's what happens when you leave the results. You cannot get your friends on self improvement. I have dropped so many friends or left them unseen or ghosted them with it or stopped talking to them in general, and the distance has been created between us. Before you know, there's an exponential gap between us. It's hard to bridge that gap. And of course, I don't make shit awkward. It's very easy. I can be like, yo, yo, bro, how you doing? Da, 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 da. Back on video games, stupid shit like that. It's very easy to bring, bring those things. Build up bridges again, in my opinion. All up to you and how you see it. Like, if you see it super awkward, then it's going to be awkward, right? But if you don't care, like I do, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I genuinely don't care. Then it'll be often easy to recreate those bridges. But here's the problem, which I wanted to elaborate on. Do you want to surround yourself... You want to be better, but you're constantly surrounded with people that are lower. How's that possible? So the way you would go about this is to go solo for a while. That's it. And I don't really advocate going solo because I think going solo sucks because you're lonely all the time and shit. But you have to think about it. The people that are your friends don't really want to be like anything greater. And you are like you are more like your friends, correct? Because you are the, some of the five people you are you, you hang around the most. Because you're more like your friends, you don't really want to be greater. You you're just okay with being mu mundane, mediocre, and maliciously fucking <laughs> sad. <laughs> I was saying maliciously fucking mid, but uh, I already said mediocre. So 
you're, you're just okay, you're more like these people, which is not what <laughs> the other guys that, the other guys that you want to be like are friends with. So you have to go to all for a while and use this time to reinvent your character and reinvent the person to become the person you reinvent yourself to become the person you want to be. <sighs> oh, that's a go. That's a go. Fucking all my brain cells, all my two brain cells. To say, God damn, come on, fucking damn. This is already over the fifteen minute mark. I'm probably gonna make it like a half an hour video because I think it's incredibly important. Something else I want to elaborate on is these people that you that are mediocre, that are fat, lazy, overweight. They struggle with fitness. How do you struggle with fitness? The fuck? They, they, I don't understand how people do that. Because the way I approach fitness is I look at myself. I compare myself to myself and exclusively. That's it. I don't look at anyone else. I don't have social media. They can compare to fate. I felt that once in my life ever. That feeling of, oh shit, that guy's bigger than me. Oh shit, that guy's fucking, he's smaller than me. He's got more cut abs than me. He's got this, da 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 He's got a six pack or four pack, and he's fifteen, and I'm I'm seventeen, and I only have a two pack. So what is this bullshit thinking? At least you have a two pack. The fuck? <laughs> she yourself six months ago. You were fat fuck. Fat fuck. Okay. So be humble with your own progress. Compare yourself exclusive to yourself. I, I never really struggled with this. I had the feeling one time before, but I cannot relate to most people that go through this shit. Because I don't care. The secret to most of these things is you don't care about anyone else apart from yourself. Because it's the only person that matters in your life, right? And people know this. And people behave as if they understand this. But they don't understand this. Because if you truly understood that, you would be taking action in order to validify the fact that you are the most important person in your life. You may, you'll be making a bunch of money. You'll be chasing your dreams. You'll be in the best shape of your possible, in your possibly, uh, in your possible, the best possible shape in your life in order to increase your mental awareness, strong body, strong mind, right, mental capability, like, you would do all these things if you understood that you were the most important person in your life, but the most people don't understand that, they only know that, they only know the phrase, they don't un actually genuinely understand that, because if they did, they would actually do something about it. The people that are mediocre in your life are usually the people that you love the most. I remember my friend, a friend recently, there's like uh, four of us, so uh, three of the dudes. I really like these guys, I really, really did. And I would consider them really close friends. And if... Sorry. It's not kind of fucking smells amazing, it's like my coffee, vanilla. Fire. And if I were to... You know, I am going to get rich. Um, I still have that if mentality, which is something I need to put, make a separate video on. If versus I am. Anyways. And, or, and need versus want. Those type of classic type of videos, but... My take matters the most! <laughs> there is so much stuff from the videos out there. Like, it's hard to penetrate this market. Or is it? I mean... To me, I don't think it's too difficult. You need to be focused on creating content. It's like the classic fitness shit, right? How am I going to look at Hamza and get jealous and get envious when I should be using that jealousy and envious energy and hatred in order to motivate my, me to work harder on my shit? Like if you look at Hamza's physique, I need to go back to that. I've got two points right now. If you go at Hamza's, look at Hamza's physique and you've got six pack, massive biceps and everything, and you just feel like self conscious about yourself, you're stupid because you're playing the comparing game. The reality is, there's always someone bigger. I bet Hamza compares himself to someone. Of course he does. There's always someone bigger, there's always someone stronger, there's always someone fitter, who has more money than you, better life than you, da, 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 da. The only thing you could possibly do is... I think... The only thing you could possibly do is try your absolute best and know that and be happy with that, alright? Listen guys, instead of focusing on looking at other men or, or other women, if you're a woman watching my channel, which is like fucking 0.1% of viewers you have to understand like if you look at the other girl with the big butt or the other guy who has a phenomenal body like you just stun yourself 
stunt yourself and you lose motivation. But in reality, you shouldn't should be focusing on the stunt type of people because you're going to get there anyway. You should be focusing on your set. You should, be, you should be focusing on the pain that you feel doing that three minute plank. It's fucking intense, but that three minute plank is intense. Okay, guys. Anyways, back to my original story. I was around these gaming guys for a very long time, and I I, I got frustrated. I put a video a while back. I think it was a month ago now, almost. I might recontact them and get a one call to see where they are in a month. That might be fun. Anyways, Salam Badeli. Oh, ah. that shit fucking stink, bro. God, <laughs> don't you? I'm not this. Uh, today is the 27th of February, 2023. In a moment, it's going to be 28th, which is the last day. <coughs> Where's my tissue? Anyways. What a little side. Eh, 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 anyways, back up the thing, I'm sidetracking. These guys, I really like them, and when I become successful, I will probably offer them a job. No, I will most likely, you know, no, I will offer them a job, and I will try to make them useful and get them on the sub group grind. But if they can't, if I can't, then I will just give up, and I will move on to another friend group. That's more beneficial to me, and I think I'm more beneficial to them, because why would I waste my time with these people, when they don't waste the time of these people trying to improve their lives trying to tell them how to improve their lives when they won't even waste a single sliver of their own time on themselves this is very common in the self-improvement space you are on the self-improvement space you are on the little entrepreneurship route you're making you're making a little business you're making a little bit of money you're making make get a bit of fit whatever and you want your friends to join along with you they are not going to join along with you you only can leave with results and i just explained how that goes out you're by the by the end of it you're here, they're here, and they're loathing you. Or they're either trying to learn from you, or they're like, ask questions like, bro, how'd you do it? How'd you get fit? How'd you get six pack? How'd you do it? Or, and, and if they ask you the question, they're probably loathing you as well anyway. They're either asking you questions, pointless questions, which they know the answer to, and they're, lo and, and they're loathing you. And they, they get instantly demotivated from seeing you up here, and they're down here. That's the way it goes. All right, guys. The only uh, way that you could possibly go about life is... Get two to three friends that you're just solid group with that you can just really speak to and you can really grow with. You know what I'm saying? Don't surround yourself with people that will anchor you down and keep you in the same place, the same mediocre place. A lot of my friends that look down on me from dropping out of college, I ask them how their lives are. Dead. Dead. There are dead men still walking. Genuinely. I literally remember. I remember like one of them was telling me, he looked, he looked at me a lot for dropping out of the college. And I was like, fine, like, whatever. I feel bad about it as well, but what can I do? I can only do what I can do, right? At least at this point. What did he tell me? He was like, what, what, do, you, what do you do in your day? Uh, play games? Go to school? Maybe go gym? Huh? And the guy, when he goes gym, he just he's one of those guys that just train upper body and still make excuses. Oh, why don't you do? Why don't you do a squat? Why don't you do a deadlift? Why don't no? He does deadlift. Why don't you do um, a leg press? Why don't you do uh, was it was that calf stretch some shit like that? I don't need to do that because I already have a good enough calves. But why don't you do that type of shit? Oh, because my my ankles are, are busted. My joints are shot. Uh, the, the, my knees are shot. <laughs> a bunch of fucking excuses. Uh, this guy's looking at me, looking down at me. His life is completely and utterly mundane. Mundane. How oh, fuck? Boring. I would not want to be you. The hell? God, God, it's not broke, boys. Bitch, love, so, so. Oh, I don't know. Listen, guys. I'm shaking around. Ultra serious. Ultra. Let me, let me stare at the camera. Ultra serious. <laughs> uh, you have to go alone for some a while, and then you have to try to curate yourself, and then change yourself. And then uh, these people that you want to change, they're not going to change. Joe Rogan said it as well. They're not going to change. They're not. They're not. Straight up. You know, be friends with successful people. Be friends with successful people, and. 
I want to say something basic, like remove your self-limiting beliefs, but no, I, I want to say something better. I just talk about Elon Musk, you know, when Joe Rogan had Elon Musk on his podcast, and well, that shit was fucking crazy, they got like 10 million views. I, know, I think it's 15 million views now, so shit. Which is very impressive. You can only hear the, the fans on my PC. Sorry, I just I feel like I'm just completing this video for a bit. Look at my quote at the moment. It's my quote. It says, live mediocre, die mediocre. Quite morbid, I know. And um, I'm pretty sure someone has said it before in a different way. But I coined that term because it really, it really resonates with me. The video games will make you happy, guys. I need to make that uh, ultra separate video as well. But ultra detail separate video. Once I'll give you a brief explanation. I remember I was playing video games once, and I recorded myself, actually, I was playing Apex Legends, and I quite like Apex Legends, because the skins are nice, and then 21 4K and all that shit, Predator, I, I, I didn't go like Platinum, I wasn't that high, I was Platinum, I wanted to get to Diamond, or Master Predator, but there's a time investment that you need to make, and there's a skill level that you need to reach, and there's a team, you need to reach like a, you need to have a good team. It's very, very difficult to solo to Pred. Like, I remember the Timmy guy, he's very good at the game. He did it in 55 hours. Just non stop play. Non stop. 55 hours, bro. That is two days and a bit of gaming. It's just pure. It's all the salt that shit. Uh, that's crazy. But what was it again? He. So I, sp I recorded myself playing Apex Legends and my face was vacant and there's a lot of other people too. Your face is vacant. My headphones. Got my mic, got my controller. I was like, I'll get my controller here. No, it's not. Anyways, let's pretend I have a controller, right? Guys, guys, I was like, I was like, vacant. I was like vacant and I was like a zombie. It's a bit of a thing, don't worry. It's like this. Guys, guys, push me in, push me in. 142, 142, he's, he's weak, he's weak, weak, blue shield, blue shield. 142, 142, come on, 8 HP, come on. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him. Guys, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bro, you're trash. Bro, how did you get knocked by that guy? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> dude, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him. And that was how I was like, for the majority of the time I was playing games. Which is why, like, a lot of people that do play games professionally end up hating the game they play because it isn't fulfilling and it, because it isn't real. But most of the time they play, they play for money. That's it. That's about it. Because it pays the bills. It puts food in their fridge. Like, they can't do anything else apart, apart from that. It's very difficult to develop another skill for them because what you do is stream a game all day, right? And you, the moment you turn your hobby into a job, it no longer becomes fun. It's, only, it's no longer fun. It's, it's purely, utterly a boring experience. It becomes mundane. It becomes, I'll say this, you dread it. It becomes... Monotonous? Is that the right word? It becomes monotonous. And that's the problem with a lot of video games. If you're playing video games, yeah, and you're really, really good, and you like do a fade where you get a bunch of clips out, like a really good plays, and you're really flashing me all the time, and you're constantly shooting out clips, you're constantly editing, you're constantly pushing out clips, you're constantly making videos, you're constantly, you know, trying to sell some merch, some shit. You're thinking about the entrepreneurial side as well, making some money, and you give yourself the leeway to actually live in real life as well, then fine. But if you are playing video games and you have nothing else, with it, you're just playing video games for fun. Just like most video games are hyper stimulating, 
and don't exist for fun, but to, it, they exist to immerse you into that world in order for, for you to forget about your shitty reality and numb yourself to the pain of the real world. <laughs> the way it goes with video games. If you're doing that, then it's fucking bad, obviously. But if you're doing the if you're doing the latter, it's obviously horrible. But if you're doing the former, then it's fine. So the biggest problem with video games is that it's not it isn't real. None of it's real, and because of it, because it's not real, it can often how to say this. It just it can often put you in a weird spot where you just end up loathing your life and end up loathing the video game. I remember one time I just I was playing Apex. I just end up hating it. Genuinely, I hated it. I genuinely hated it, and I got off, and I was like, whew, a sense of relief, a weight burden off my shoulders. I was playing for like 15 hours, not 15 hours, a bit less, obviously, 15 hours is nuts. I was playing for like 6, 7 hours, just non-stop gaming, it's like 14, 15. I'm so mad at myself for spending that much time into that, when had I spent that time into putting YouTube videos instead of the gaming videos, or reading, reading books and getting knowledge, and becoming a person who worth that's worth something that has value brings value to other people. Then I actually could have done something in my life. Then you know, which is why I had to drop those gaming guys. One of them is a lot like I don't know. I don't want to mention any naming names because you guys probably can find them. If this does go viral, I don't. I actually genuinely don't hope hope this these this channels don't go viral. I genuinely hope that I only have like 10,000, 50,000 views per video at max. Not making too much money, I don't care. I probably won't, no, I definitely won't monetize this channel because it won't get any views. I'm a fuck man. I got like 100 comments or some shit. I can just can talk to people that I like. Any comment, I think it's a stupid hater. I can just pin it. People pin of shame. People get to see stupid idiot in the comment section. Anyways, and I can actually build a community, which is one of my goals with YouTube, to build a community, to spread my message, obviously to make money, obviously to do sales, obviously to upsell, all this other shit, but most importantly to build a community of people that like minded like me. And Hamza, he's reached a point where, the problem with Hamza, right, is that he's reached a point where he's so high up, everyone is trying, like everyone doesn't hate him they idolize him they're trying to like build the build the staircase the stairway in order to smoothly get up to hit where he is but he cannot relate to them you the only friends he'd have is like mike thurston andrew tate other guys of high upper left echelons like him you know what i'm saying he's conquering different mountains you just start climbing that's the way it goes with hamza i think at least I think that's very, very important for me to say because Hamza's not a friend. Like, and I still, I still don't like that though. A lot like PewDiePie a while back, I saw him. Like, people were adding him on PS4, and they're spamming him with, uh, with um, friend requests. And he was like, "Guys, I'm not your friends!" Like, super mad and everything. Fuck! He's like, "Fuck off, guys! I'm not your friends. Fuck off, dude!" Like, these people are your viewers. They are your fans. I would just like, I'd be like, guys, stop adding me, bro, come on, bro, block, block, block. And then, but I wouldn't put it in a way, in a fashion, in which I'd be aggressively reacting to it, as if they did, they wronged me. They ruined everything. Some little fucking 14, 15-year-old kid, probably, who just added him because he found the, he found the name and he really likes Peter Pie. That's it. <laughs> Fuck. I, I feel like, oh. No, I know that, and I genuinely believe that that is biting the hand that feeds you. And he, and what he'd he say something like, "Oh, you wouldn't understand because the point you reach it, it just comes annoying and tedious." Of course, at some point, everything does, right? Everything comes annoying and tedious at some point. But still, to bite your hand, the hand that feeds you, to react that way, to react that negatively, it's nothing short of painstaking. Nothing short of. Horrible. I kind of lost respect for PewDiePie for that. And he probably doesn't care anyway. But I, I, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, this guy, this is the guy I grew up with. Fuck off, guys. I'm not your friend. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, here's what it is. Final message of this video. 
live mediocre, die mediocre. Start cool in my head. But I want to tell you guys. So you might have to be alone for a while. I'm gonna put a message here. Any anything other than the video, I might have I have to elaborate on. I know my I have to elaborate on because and this is a half an hour video, a, a thirty five minute video. YouTube only allows you to post fifteen minute videos. But <laughs> what can I do? Right? <laughs> I'm not forgetting paid. It is twelve a.m. in the morning. Bye bye, gang. Bye bye, gang. Peace. Peace.